Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my June 2016 LEGO City Tour. To be quite honest, quite a lot has changed this month. As you notice, there is no staging done in the city because of this month I really just wanted to focus on showing you what's new in the city, the new buildings, the new layout, and not just where the figures and stuff are. I promise in next month's update there will be vehicles and figures, but for right now it's just kind of like the raw city. We'll start over here where the least amount of changes happened. As you can see the police station still in just its you know original location. Over here I've added the hospital and I actually made it a bit shorter just so it could fit in there nice and perfect. As you can see that's what it looks like all off in the shadows there. Next to that is the FAO Schwartz toy store with the toy soldiers out front and I added this Grand Emporium billboard on top. Next to that's just the yellow building where there's not too much going on there. Next to that is the Palace Cinema, which is a neat set. Behind there I just have the Avengers Tower. With I took the base off of that, which a couple updates ago you saw the base. And over in that far corner there is the bank. And I did buy a bank at Philly Brickfest, so I managed, I took the two floors of that bank and the three floors I already had on the bank and made it a five story tall bank and I think that looks pretty cool. Here in Tile Square, not too much has happened. From the last update, Tile Square moved from here to over here which is pretty neat so 2016 you know subscribe to brick lover 18 brick coaster some food brick lover 18 again brick view and then we have the big ball there right here I do have the Lego store as well as the Grand Emporium over here sort of in the center of the city right in the middle of the road we have the museum the vets office the post office on the other side and then just this little park area with a fountain with ducks playing some roller coasters for kids a big tree Next to that we have like the newspaper and toy shop little building, like a little alleyway with another big tree and lots of flowers. We have the cafe, the bike shop, and like the hamburger shack. Again we just have lots more trees with the fence lining around so the kids can like play in the park and not get hit by traffic when there is traffic in the city. Here we have the detective's office with the Brick Lover 18 billboard. Over here we have the cell phone tower and as you can see the Big B Splat is in the center of it. I think that looks pretty cool. Next to that we have this brand new building, it's like a federal building, it's kind of what I did with the Avengers Tower but I just made it look a lot cooler. As you can see the bottom here, double doors with the nice big circle thing in the center, a little roof and it goes up. As you can see it's like 8 stories tall. I'm waiting on a Bricklink order to finish off these couple floors and then I'm going to add a roof on. So it's actually going to be taller than the Bricks Tower when it is done. Down here I got rid of the roller coaster boarding area because I didn't like the look of it and I added the pizza place because the pizza place was over here. Next to that is the little black building, the, the black office tower. There's Brenda's Dentistry on top, 92.9 Brick FM Radio, as well as the Apple Store and Tim Hortons there on the bottom. Next to that is Brick's Tower. As you can see I replaced all the green with white, looks 10 times better, and I plan on replacing the yellow there at the bottom, but I just have to take all the white and tiles off that's inside because that's a sushi mock, and just replace that. As you can see the Brick's Tower got a nice sign and that looks pretty cool. At the very back here, it's very hard to see, but you can sort of see the little, you know, like I guess you could say like a strip mall where they have the Italian restaurant and the clothing store. Each one of those shops did get signed, so we have the olive brick and mini doll clothing. Next to that is super hard to see is this little like hole in the wall comic shop, all made of broken Lego pieces, so I think that's pretty cool. And it's like a little shady spot, hard to see in the city, and it's all made of broken Lego, so it's kind of unique. Here we have the NCIS building, which again overlooks the whole city, and I really love the look of that. You know, just looking down, there you can see NCIS, the water fountain here. Here we have the big ferris wheel and I did replace, I had all these fence pieces all the way around and I replaced it with these fence pieces and I just think it looks much more inviting now, very nice. The street sign there, another fountain. I removed all the sidewalk from the back there and put another green base plate so it looks more like a park area now. And a cool thing I did do with the roller coaster this month was I actually lit it up. Um, I'll do a video on that like next week or something like that. I think it's scheduled to go where it lights up, but I'm going to show you how I do that. It's pretty neat. Now all I have to do is shut off the light.
And there you have it. This is what the Ferris wheel looks like lit up. I am, I love it. Now I'm just really excited because I think I'm going to work to get the rest of the city to light up. The Ferris wheel is so awesome. Look, look at how it changes colors and switches. Very impressed. I think it looks awesome in my city. Thanks everybody so much for watching my June 2016 LEGO City update, LEGO City tour. Really like the progress that came on the city this month. This is the very first update you've seen since I took it to Philly Brickfest. You can kind of see the city in those vlogs there, but I haven't done an official update. And it was for Philly Brickfest that I actually changed the modular instead of just one long row of modulars, made them into two rows, made use of the two corner buildings, and had a road going in between them. And I just think it looks really cool with the city. Thanks everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below what you liked in the city this month, as well as let me know what you did not like. Thanks everybody so much for watching, have a great day.